Hello everyone, uh, it's me Mikey, unfortunately I'm not on the camera, a few technical issues, um, but how exciting is this, we are playing The Last of Us Part 2. Now, if you're massively avoiding spoilers, I wouldn't get too concerned, because the uh, section I've picked to play isn't too heavy on spoilers, on. it's mostly an extension of stuff we've already seen. So, um... You know, if you're wanting to go in completely blind, then maybe come back and watch this at a later date. But if, uh, you, you know, if you don't mind seeing a couple of spoilers or like, you know, at least very, very minor ones, then sit back and enjoy. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. We were going to live stream this, but, um, hey, we never about turns this? out... <laughs> They won't let us, <laughs> which is really cool because they're avoiding major spoilers getting out there, and I really like that. Got massive respect to Naughty Dog for not wanting their game spoiled. I just, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. Okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours, and I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. I'm gonna try not to talk through uh, dialogue too much. Hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're gonna point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. I like these two. Well, obviously I like Ellie. Everyone likes Ellie. So, um, I mean, I've got a separate video for my first impressions, uh, either already out or going out. Um, but I will kind of go over them again during this. I like how this sort of reflects the giraffe scene from the first Last of Us game. What do you think of this view, huh? Same two character, well, Two characters lean over the edge. Yeah, this route has its perks. What are we signing? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. So, see, I'm not going to spoil what's come before this, but this is still very early on in the game. We're talking sort of, you know, first hour or two. Route with. It's an absolute stunning looking Eugene. game. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Oh, man, he was funny. Oh yeah. Thank you. Plus, oh, she's gotta go first. Yep. <laughs> May we all be that sharp at 73. But yeah, my first impressions of the game so far is brilliant, <laughs> amazing, like, and, you know, my expectations were stupidly high, and they've been matched, if not surpassed so far. So, um, in this section of the game, like I say, we don't get too many heavy spoilers, which is good, um, and we get a fair bit of gameplay. I just want to point out very quickly just how amazing the faces look in this. And I mean, this ain't a great time to show it off, but usually when the characters are talking, their face kind of match their, what they're saying. And so look at that. I mean, so I'm going to reply now. Well done. But you know, if they're scared, if they're worried, if they're sad, as they're talking, their face really reflects it. I did not notice this room the first time I played. Cool. <laughs> bong. Hey, I'm going to guess this bong was Eugene's. Hey, do you have any on you, actually? Oh, I did. Eugene always had some on him. As you can see, not a lot's changed on the old scavenging front, which is fine, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I completely missed that room the first time round.
quite like this book. You see all the uh, people that have done this same route before them. Oh yeah, just to sort of let you know what's going on in the story, again without spoiling it, it's basically, very simply, Ellie and uh, Dina have come out on basically just a walk around just to make sure the area is clear. And as you can see, just looking through this, you can sort of read through all the characters that have come through before over the last few months to make sure everything's clear and fight off hordes and stuff like that. Or not necessarily hordes, sorry, but just like, you know, small groups of infected. Pretty cool. And there. Come here. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. On a supermarket? Yeah, we'll pass that on our way into town. Ah, uh, there's a ski lodge. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. Let's get back to the horses. So a little bit of a minor spoiler there if you're a... Uh looking too deep into things but <laughs> question were you wearing those same clothes yesterday they're clean no judgment you can see look we crew now no. i love being able to crew we're here to kill infected not to look fancy still look nice Yeah, it's very hard to talk about my impressions up to this point like purely this because I will spoil things, <laughs> which I'm not here to do. From old age, like living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Look at this. Look at these locations, man. Stunning. You'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know you're going to die. Let me guess. You're gonna kill me? No. Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, should we check these houses out? I Have a look supplies, around. But we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Always stop for supplies. What do you know about this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch him on the outer perimeter. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I was thinking of inviting Joel. Can get up there? Watch a movie. I can't. Yeah. Oh, you guys, good? Yeah. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. So I suppose if you've watched to this point, the secret's out of the back. Uh, Joel and Ellie are still... Still hanging around together, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh, no. I actually really like them too. What about you? Oh, I can't go over the facial animations on this. It's so Some good. People were talking about sneaking out, going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. You want to meet up after? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. Did you? can see What's the menu pretty much works the same just had a bit of an overhaul okay, so looks two nice. former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys and i think in this one they go up against russian spies or something it's pretty much yeah. i'm more interested in this than i thought i would be all right so the young one viper he's a trained ninja and he's a complete badass so how old is he in the first movie 
10. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> it's always worth stopping to explore, not just, you know, because of the cool stuff you find, but just you get little conversations like that. It's really cool. Warning, there will be blood. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that smell. Looks like infected did this. How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Again, I sort of mentioned this in my first impressions video, but the combat, like hand to hand, to the guns, to, it just feels even more weightier than the first. So good. You see enemies are still a bit oblivious, but that's fine. <laughs> ah! It's pretty cool to get into rooms sometimes that are locked. Sometimes you've got to find a different way around and open it from the other side, as shown here. There we go. A few pills. Pills for health again. Responsible. Yeah, just the whole the way the whole game feels is just it's often hard to differentiate from when you're in a cutscene to when you're in a gameplay bit. Boom. Indeed. You good? Yeah. Nice throw, by the way. Thanks. The way we came in was barricaded. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah, it's a good question. What's the most infected you've ever taken down on patrol? It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like a dozen. Dina, this way. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it quiet. See what's interesting there is how she talks about how you know the most infected she's ever taken down is a dozen. She kind of hints that she's not being overly honest with people and their history. She'll take him out. Us. Right, about to see some proper hand to hand combat now. <laughs> okay. A lot of time, it's good to run. Trust me. <laughs> it's very chaotic, very quick. I mean, that could have gone a little smoother. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> kind of cut that up a little bit. Yeah. Looks like it. Don't Looks have like enough it for a med kit yet. A few changes just to the menu and the way all this sort of works. Pretty much the same for um, crafting. But now, for your skills and abilities and such, you have to actually go in a certain order. You can't just pick health first. You have to, like, listen and... Uh, listening first, 
then faster health goes, as you can see, there's a bit of a change. It's worth noting. Ain't this familiar? The boostie has become the booster. Um, there's a hole in the roof over there. Here. Thanks. Look, see? All right, let's figure out how to get in there. Just a note that I'm about to crawl under this lorry. And when I come out the other side, there is a very slight spoiler. So again, just saying, <laughs> if you're completely avoiding spoilers, now may be the time to come back later. If not, you're in for the ride. There you go. Because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Deal. Cool. So as you can see, as you just heard, um, Ellie hasn't told them she's immune. So she's keeping that a secret for whatever reason, which is interesting. I don't know why yet, but there we go. Bit like the first game, you know, you can pick up pick up these notes, tell you little stories about people who come before. So. Quite interesting. See any way to that roof? I know the way to the roof. I'm not sure. It's this way. Oh, nope. <laughs> Fail. I know you can make it. This way. At least the way, as you can see now, what we didn't have in the first game, a jump button. <laughs> so at least, yeah, a bit more nimble than Joel. Gameplay mirrors something like Uncharted a little more, I'd say. Um, only in the sense of being able to sort of traverse your way around. Hey, got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here, fix yourself up. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> So yeah, um, health kits, crafting them and using them, pretty much the same as, same as before. No real change there. Masks on. Got it. See, there you go again. They don't know that she's immune. She's playing along. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, oh you assume that anyway. Maybe she's not immune anymore. But how would you know that without getting infected? So yeah, I'm going to assume she's lying. Keep your eyes peeled for all they're infected. I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. Uh... New thing as well, um, safes are a little different. Whereas last time you just had to find a piece of paper with the code on, now you've kind of got to work out the code. So as you can see here, this letter basically says, um, blah, 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 um, the combo is the date my good boy got employee of the month. So I'm just gonna show you this quickly. By good boy, I assume she means her cute little doggy that's uh, right here on her table. 
go to the little uh, employee of the month thing out here and you can see the dog got employee of the month. Must have been a very good doggy, very hard worker. And that was July 2013. So 07, 2013, and you have to actually put that code in. So a little bit different to last time, a bit more to it. Looks pretty cool, I like it. Adds a little bit more of the old uh, puzzle element to the game that wasn't really there in the first one, so. Pretty cool. Hello clickers, my old friend. So yeah, to nobody's surprise, clickers work. Exactly the same as they did before, they can't see you, but they can't hear you, so. Yeah, exactly the same as before, just a little slicker. You can use uh, noises to distract them again, but I don't think I'm going to need to here, thankfully. <laughs> Fuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Speak in my language. <gasps> Dina, a little help. She goes in all prepared. I just barge my way in. <laughs> Make you a present. I'll take a present. Yeah. Here. Thanks. Careful with that. I'm a pro. <laughs> Alright, this is the first room you'll have to take on the mixture of runners and clickers, which usually for me goes completely tits up. But let's see how we get on. Usually becomes all out chaos. I definitely feel the game edges you more towards stealth than it did before. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. if we can just I'm going to do the old uh, my old favourite trick get them all over there with a bottle and then and then burn them go on go on what's that noise what's that noise that's right burn <laughs> oh. and he heard me throw that hopefully that killed most of them but Oh yeah, they still chase you on fire now. <laughs> Burn out! Burn out! <laughs> okay, so fire doesn't always kill them, it turns out. Yeah. 
We're good. That went better than it did the first time I did it. <laughs> uh, nope. You know what? I'm impressed with us. Okay. Let's go to the next lookout. See, she has no idea of what Ellie's like pulled off before this and how much of a badass she is. So, yeah, getting a lot quiet, which is pretty cool. Do you see a way out? <laughs> Come on, Budge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Cable here. So yeah, like I said, like that, you got a lot more stuff like this, which again kind of reminds me of Naughty Dog's other series, Uncharted. Just new ways to get about that you never used to do with Joel. It's pretty cool. Adds a new element to it. Okay, that's good. Here I go. I like uh, you're about to see how the weather can affect you sometimes, like you get into windy conditions and it actually puts you off balance a little bit, especially when riding horses and stuff. You love. Look at Ellie's cold face. <laughs> She's chilly. Yeah, like obviously you guys can't really tell, but like I'm going off course here just by the wind blowing me. <laughs> Things are really difficult. Put your head up, Ellie. It's cold. The way the clothes go in the wind. Oh, love it. Love it. This is getting worse. We turn back. We won't make it. We're almost there. I know, girl. I know. Keep going. Dina, how much further? Dina. Lost and alone. Dina! Fuck. Fuck. Dina! I can hear her. Ellie! Not here. Yeah. There she is. Ellie! Oh, thank God. Come on. This way. Lost Where you in the going? snow. Like now I'm straight into cutscenes and like it just jumping between the two. <laughs> seamless. Absolutely seamless. I'll get the door. You been here? Rode by it. Never came inside. Alright, let's make sure it's clear. Okay, pretty cool feature this time. I don't know if it'll work with the bottle. I'm gonna try. Is to get into some rooms you can just boom. Like that. That door is definitely locked by the way. I'm not just being a menace to society. There we go, that's unlocked. This has to be Eugene's. 
Are you sure? Yeah, nobody else would tinker with this shit. But why would he hide it from me? Huh. Eugene. Definitely Eugene's place. By the way, all I've heard about Eugene up to this point was that um, he would hang out with Dina quite a lot. I had no idea. That's yeah. all I know. They got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers and two civilians. So else. He also told me that I'm just going to point something out, by the way. Ready? Ready? PS3! <laughs> and Uncharted! And Jack and Baxter! <laughs> what do you mean? He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. Sorry, I talked over some good dialogue then. Hey, found a generator. But yeah, I got excited about it. Oops. <laughs> You can see they've changed the way the generators work a little bit, but still, pretty much the same idea. Oh, that's better. Oh, wow. Okay, I have to that's show off uh, some some uh, weapon upgrading. It's pretty cool. Just looks absolutely stunning. I've already upgraded the fire rate, I think. Oh, I'll do it again. It looks so cool. So seamless. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah, this will work. Oh, hello. It's just a letter from a. Uh... From Eugene's wife saying, please leave the fireflies, it's dangerous. To which I don't think he does. And there's the man himself. Kind of got a bit of the uh, hippie about him. I like him, seems like my sort of guy. I like Eugene. There's more stuff down there. You see a way down? Mm, not here. A giraffe! Mines are good times. She often just jot down things in the diary she goes across. I won't spoil that for you, but call it a entry. If you choose to read it. Come on. It's obviously a sex den. That's why he won't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He's so lonely, man. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. It's weed. That's a lot of dead weed. Yeah, sad sight. Wait, hold on. Where is it? This cracks me up. Right, here we go. He's got that videotape thing. Huh. Dom of the Wolf. <laughs> Wife. Smash Randy's cooch. <laughs> Are these? It's porn. <laughs> Interesting taste, Eugene. Smash Brandy's cooch. <laughs> uh, funny. Eugene might be my new favourite character. Having never met him. Dina. It's a gas mask bomb. <laughs> God, he was so smart. More Eugene, please. Alright, unfortunately we're coming towards the end now because I'm gonna enter a little cutscene. And then I don't really want to show you anymore because we're going to heavy spoiler territory.
but we'll just see this bit out. Oh, there we go. I think it's still good. Does weed go bad? Hmm. Let's find out. You having a hard time? No, oh, I got it. <clears throat> Fuck. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Like you're gonna get it. <sighs> okay. It's... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? Ellie's got a lot cooler. <laughs> Not that she wasn't before. I mean... We're be stuck here a while, right? And this is, of course, one of the first scenes we saw in the, um... In the first proper trailer for the uh, original release date trailer, which was like February, but yeah, that's how we get there. Can I ask you a question? I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten, one being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Why are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Did I say that? Doing. I asked you to read our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. <laughs> a six? Wow, like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people around. Yeah, but six. Oh. What? I mean, now I really want to know how you'd rate it. I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. Our little Ellie's all grown up. This better be better than a six. And she sets the whole place on fire because of <laughs> flicking that spliff away. <laughs> and we are going to stop.